Hi. So we are here for page one. So we are going. To, you're going to find your pocket out um, pocket page that you made with your base build, your eight by eight pocket page. Put that aside, and you're going to cut two pieces of black cardstock, and this is 65 pound weight. Two pieces at eight and three quarters by eight inches. So eight and three quarters by eight inches. You're going to put that in your scoreboard with the eight and three quarters along this edge and you're going to score it at a half an inch, a half an inch, and four and a half inches. So you're gonna do that with both pieces. You're going to fold those edges, the half an inch, you're going to fold it. Fold, and of course, do your good burnishing. The four and a half inch score line, fold and burnish. So now you have two pieces like this. This edge right here is you're going to put score tape on. So we're going to have score tape here, and we are going to be attaching it to our our pocket out um, page. Here's the openings. Here's the opening. So you're going to attach it here, one on this side, and you're going to attach the other one on this side. So go ahead and dry fit them. Make sure they fit in there well. Apply your score tape here. And then go ahead and attach them. So I am going to go ahead. So I have both my pieces with their score tape on. So there it is, score tape. So remember the score tape is going to go on the outside, there's the pocket piece, so it's going to go towards this edge, the open edge. You're going to have score tape facing down here, and the flap is coming out this way. So score piece tape right there. Dry fit that in there, and you're going to have this piece with the score tape on this edge. Dry fit that in there, and you just want to make sure that they fit on the page. They are not overlapping. They shouldn't be overlapping. And get them straight and make sure they're even. And then you go ahead and pull your score tape, or if you want to use glue, glue. I'm going to do that, and I'll come right back. Okay, so we have our flaps in now, and they should line up down the middle here. No overlap, but they should be real close to each other there, like that. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to, oops, go to your eight by eight um, pack, and you're going to pull this paper, you are going to cut it exactly four inches right down the middle. So cut it four inches on either, it doesn't matter which way you start, it's going to be smack dab in the middle. This is going to form our little opening right here. You may need to trim it a little bit since this is eight by eight and your base album is eight by eight. You're probably going to have to trim off like an eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth of an inch on this side, a sixteenth of an inch on this side. Do not trim down the middle. This needs to remain 
intact. You want this to be a continuous page. So just do one paper at a time, trim it down here, and then at the bottom. Like I said, you probably only need 1 16th of an inch. So trim those and come back and then we'll get started with the pockets. Okay, so you've got your pieces cut so they fit in here. The next thing we're don't put don't adhere them in yet. Just make sure you do a dry fitting and they fit okay. Next thing we're going to do is be making these pockets. We have some pockets on the front. They're going to be sitting like this. So the way we construct those is you're going to cut two pieces five and a half inch, excuse me, five inches tall by four and a half inches wide. And then for like this side, you're going to score it on this edge and this edge a half an inch. So the pocket will kind of be like this. And then you'll do the same for the other side. You'll make a pocket for the other side. You are then going to cut this. In your paper trimmer, you will be starting at this point and cutting straight to this point. So you just line them up in your paper trimmer. This point to this point so we can make our little corner piece right here. So I am going to do that and I'll be right back. I'll be scoring my other piece and getting the pocket for this side made also. So I'll be right back. Hello. I wanted to come back and show you how I did this um, striped pocket page. Originally I had put in solid green on this pocket page and I didn't like it. I thought it was just too too bland so I made these stripes. So just go over how we made these triangular pockets real easy. You cut two pieces at five inches tall, four and a half inches wide. And for this pocket, you're going to be scoring it on this side and down at the bottom. And for this pocket, you're going to be scoring it on this side and down at the bottom. So you would just fold your edges, fold and burnish your edges like usual for pockets. And then what you're going to do, and you, you probably all know how to do this, you are going to be, let me get this, you are going to be putting this in your paper trimmer at this point down to here. You're going to just make a straight cut from point to point, and that will give you the pocket on this side. And on this side, which I've already cut, there's the pocket. I cut from point to point, and now I have my pocket here. So you can go ad and adhere these, and you, you miter the corners. Miter all three corners. You're going to miter up in here. You're going to miter, obviously, down here, and you're going to miter this corner right here. So you have all three of these mitered. Then you can place it in your album. So that's going to be your, your triangle pocket. Now when you cut this, you are left with this piece. So you put it down like this, it just matches right over. You are going to save this because this is what you are going to be building your stripes on. So we get our half inch stripes. We have the dots from the 12 by 12 collection. We have the gold and the green and the red. So we have all our stripes cut out. Now the pattern that I used, and you can use any pattern, was, let's see, I have 
gold dot red green dot red gold green. <laughs> That's the pattern I have. So what you would do on this, the way I did it, and you can do it any way you want, I would just adhere. Here's so we're doing we're doing this pocket here. So I'm going to recreate this pocket. So I would just put down the gold, just glue it down. I would actually lose use glue, gold, the polka dot. Let's see, gold polka dot, red, red, green polka dot. Red, red, gold, and my green. And you just glue them all down to the bottom, the bottom edge. So I'll be right back. You don't have to um, ink the edges in here because they're butting up against each other. So I'll come back once I have all mine glued down to the bottom here, and I'll be right back. I don't think I've put enough glue. But anyway, so there they all, they're all adhered to the bottom edge of this triangle pocket. And then all you do is what... <laughs> What I ended up doing is hand cutting it, but you could put it in your trimmer. Just make sure the glue, if you use glue, that it's all dry before you put in the trimmer. And then just trim it all the way down. I think that's what I'm, oops, I gotta get that green. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trim, put mine in the trimmer and trim it, and I'll be right back. So I am putting mine in the trimmer I'm actually going to cut it a little bit on the black because I don't want, I still want it catching the edges of these half inch pieces. And this isn't the greatest trimmer. Um, I just hope it doesn't shred it at, at all. But let's see, I'll put it here. Push it down into the black card stock. Go up. So there we go. We got it. Hey, hey, hey. Yay. So that worked. So now we have our piece. Now this you may have to trim a little bit. You're going to put it in here and you may have to, you may have to do a little bit of trimming. Not much. But that's how you make um, these corner pockets. And then go ahead and now you can ink the edge in here and here. Okay, so we have our pockets in. So next we're going to be attaching these, these inside panels. So since I use tape, if you use glue, you're going to be using glue except for this bottom part that goes into the pocket. You don't need glue down there. But what I do is I try this one. I'm going to put it in this pocket. And I'm just going to make a mark on the back with my pencil. So when it's in this pocket, this mark... It, Oh my gosh, I hope I'm not out of frame half the time here. So you saw me make this mark, right? And then when you put it back in this pocket, that mark tells you I am going to be putting my tape from here, 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 down to here. And then I'll probably put one down here too. If you're using glue, you would just put glue all the way up through here and you don't really need to go down below this line. And you would just slip it in there and do what you need to do. So I'm going to mark this one and 
Before I put that one in, I'm going to put this one in on this side. So I will know where to put the tape on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put my tape on, make sure everything's been inked and it's ready to go. So I'll see you once I get mine installed. Okay, so we have this, these pages are now installed. We have our little scene with our bunnies. So now we're going to open our little doors and the next insert we're going to be putting is this welcome home. So this is our little house and now it's welcome home. So this is just from your 8x8 collection. I've already inked my edges and I cut off like a sixteenth of an inch from each side. So it fits in here so we have our little reveal all the way around because this center this is our pocket page, so this is eight inches. So this will fit here perfectly. Just need to do a little trimming. So go ahead and do your trimming. I'm going to go ahead and tape this down and I'll be back right after that. Okay, so we've done this. We're still on page one. We finished this and then you open it up. We added this eight by eight piece. Um, from the 8x8 collection and now we're going to do these two inside flaps. So I, I've already put this one down. So what you're going to do is you're going to get this green um, paper that Julie found for us from the same one as this from the Graphic 45 Warm Wishes collection and you're going to cut two pieces for each side. And these measure three and a quarter by three and a quarter, I believe. Let's see. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And you're going to ink the edges. Be sure you ink the edges. The white on this paper is really pretty white. So ink the edges. Oops. Got a little spittle there. Ink the edges. Make sure the direction of your pattern, the subtle pattern, is going in the direction you want it. So you're going to put these two down. And once those two are down, you will have a little space in between. And then you're going to find, get your red, isn't that a pretty little pattern? Your red paper uh, from the Graphic 45 Warm Wishes collection and you're going to cut this little tiny strip and this is going to be 3 eighths of an inch and you're going to be inking the edges and putting that down. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. You do that and then I will be right back. Okay, so we have these two front flap pieces in. Now we're going to be opening up to this layout. So we got a flap here, 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 and here. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to the 8x8 eight eight collection, and you're going to find this piece, same as this one, and you're going to cut it right in half. You're going to cut it straight down the middle, so four inches in, so you got two four inch pieces. These are going to be going on the outside flaps right here. Now you're going to have to trim it down a little bit on the side. This piece measures three and looks like three and three quarter. So I just basically went down here and marked it and cut it and I trim a little bit off the, the height too if you need to. So that's going to go here. 
and this piece is going to go on this side. Then you're going to locate, it's, it's easier to see it on this side, you're going to locate this piece from the 8x8 collection. And you're going to also do the same. You're going to cut it straight in half. And we are, so we're not using this side, though that actually does look, that actually is cute too, huh? Wow, that's actually cute. Oh my goodness. But I just think it's kind of too busy with what's going on. But I'm going to be using this for another layout. <laughs> but it is cute. But what we're going to be doing is using this side. Oops. Get it. This side right here. So this part where it has the New York published part, that's going to go on the left flap right here. And then this one's going on the right. So make sure you have them. So this is the way they are together. And you're going to cut them like this. And you're going to trim off probably 1 16th of an inch off of this end and 1 16th of an inch off of this end. So my pieces measure, this measures 3 and 7 eighths. 3 and 7 eighths. But you do your measuring, put it down, mark it, and then fit it in. You only have to do a little bit of trimming. And then we're going to lay these down. Now, since I use my score tape and it takes me forever and you don't want to see me struggle, I am going to get these all, make sure they're, and make sure you ink them. <laughs> make sure you ink all these edges. Do not forget to ink. It, it, it does not look good without inking, especially with that white core. So I'm going to get all these um, taped and put down. And then we'll be... Okay, so we are about done with page one. So here is the inside panels all placed. I think it looks... It looks beautiful. Probably might add some something here for a tuck spot down through here. Um, but for now, I think we're about done. But what I did add was these little circles. I used my die cut, circle die cut, to cut them from this, this page, the cut apart page from the 8x8 collection. So they have these smaller circles and the bigger circles. I used the smaller circles. Since I liked the, um, the little birdies, I put them here. I just adhered it with glue in the center. So we have a little tuck spot there for our photos and then a tuck spot down here also. So I thought that looked really, that looks really nice. And then for the front, we, we are going to be closing this. My thought was a lot of people get these Christmas cards. Um, are you get them for for your families or you get one yourself. I thought this would be a great card for whatever Christmas, if this is 2022, if you get a Christmas card, you can put it there. And that is your closure. So now that is your closure for this little first page. Now, if you do not have one of these, or you do not normally do this for your family, you can also get one of these cut aparts from the 12 by 12. I liked this one. I thought this one would work nicely right here to keep this closed. I like the, the colors in through here. They're not too bold and bright. Or this one is also a nice option. 
if you want a little bit more color. That's a nice option. Or this way, you try it out any way you like that you like it. There's lots of options. You can either just use these these um, cut aparts, mat them with some black to, to reinforce it, and use that as your closure. Or you can make a little fold, match your your little cut apart on there, and then have a a little booklet where you can add some more photos, and then put that in your pockets right here, and that would be your closure. That would be really nice. It gives you more, um, it's, it's stable, it's nice and thick, and now you have more places for photos. So basically, we are done Yay! with page one, and now it's on to page two.